Hi you guys, welcome back to Thursdays with something from somewhere and create something beautiful. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to paint a wooden chair with spindles the easiest way. If many of you have tried this in the past with a brush, you know how annoying, difficult, and uh, how much work actually is to paint this. This is what's called spindles in a chair. Um, I've learned the hard way, and uh, not too long ago, when I discovered these uh, paints that I'm working with now, these clay-based paints, Country Chic, they have what is called a painting sponge. So this was a huge discovery for me. So this is what we're gonna use today, and I'm gonna show you how easy it really is if you use a sponge instead of a brush. You'll still need a little brush um, at the end when you know you have little spots that you can get in, but this makes it so much easier. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna pour, what we're gonna use today is called, um, by Country Chic, the color's called Felling Fine. I love this color. Hello, Christopher. Hello, Sergey. how are you? Thanks for being here. Eric, how are you? Awesome, awesome, guys. I love it when I see guys on this. Come on, you guys can paint too. It's not just for girls, all right? Maybe you wanna take on some of those projects at home and paint. Hello. <laughs> all right, guys, so, um, so we're gonna use Country Chic. This is my go-to paint. I, I totally love it. This particular uh, collection is from the Furry Collection and um, other than the paints being obviously, you know, why I use them because I love them and they're great paint, but also what they stand behind. And um, this particular collection, portion of the monies goes into helping families that cannot afford paying veterinary care for their animals. So it actually has a great cost behind it on top of it being a great paint. Um, so anyway we're gonna use this color and the way that I always recommend is uh, with any paint so that you don't contaminate them always pour a little bit on a separate container so I still have a little bit left on here I'm gonna pour it here a container that can be actually you know what big enough for the brush you're not gonna dip the whole thing in just a little bit the corner of it but wide enough so that you can actually reach those areas okay so that would be really really cool so let's see um so what are you guys up to huh what are you up to boys where are you sending me messages from let me know as you come in i would love to know where you guys are any stories anything you've been up to also, what time it is where you are, maybe. It's always cool because I'm getting people from different parts of the world and I always like to know where you're from, where you're calling, I mean, well, watching me from. All right, so let's see. It's a beautiful color, I love it. So, so this is the idea. What you wanna do, and like everything again, I already cleaned this chair, always make sure that it's nice and clean before you start painting. Any residue, any oils, especially if they're very old pieces, they absorb a lot of oils, and you wanna make sure that your paint adheres nicely, all right? And there's no bleed through, especially with this older color wood type of furniture, bleed through tends to happen where the wood itself, the coloring comes through the color, especially if it's a light color, all right? Cool. Hi, Issei, how are you? Welcome, thanks for watching. All right, so we're gonna use these, look at these. They are awesome. And you just wanna dip, you know, a corner of it and start painting. Now, don't worry about being a total coverage the first time around, that's okay. You actually want a thin layer. It's always preferred that you actually go and do more coats than to lay a very thick layer. First of all, because a thinner layer dries faster than if you put, you know, a, a thick layer. And the coverage after two, maybe coats, and sometimes maybe three, but most of the time two coats is more than plenty for the full coverage of the chair or any, anything that you're painting. Can you guys see well? 
Hi, Amy. How are you? Welcome, Amy. Oh my gosh, been a long time, girl. So thanks for being here. I'm showing you guys how to paint wooden spindles on a chair the easiest way. If you've ever tried this, you know how painful it can be and how long. So with this sponge that I've recently discovered and I'm in love with, I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. Really, and like I was saying, don't worry if it doesn't do the whole coverage right away from the first coat. It's all right. Better thin layers. So, I mean, look at this. I would have never been able to do this this fast with a brush. And of course, you're gonna use the brush, but more for like the little details or little corners that you can't reach, but you can reach a lot with these. So they are also from the Country Chic Collection. It's in the tools. If you guys wanna check it out, I have all the products are on my website and that's somethingfromsomewhere.com. And all the paints, just so that you know, everything that I use from the Country Chic, which is a clay-based, to Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and Farmhouse Finishes, which is the milk paint collection that I have, everything is natural, environmentally friendly, it's uh, child safe, non-toxic, it has no VOCs, which stands for volatile compounds, volatile organic compounds actually, which are gases that can go into the universe, into the atmosphere. They're all food safe, so you can actually paint um, any kind of pieces that you may be putting food on, like any kind of trays. And the sealers and waxes are all beeswax natural as well, and the sealers are water-based, so really, you guys, I mean, and they have been certified and tested. And that's really like my whole thing. Um, not just for me, because if I'm using it, obviously, you know, I don't want to be working with any kind of toxic stuff and chemicals, but also for you, for your home. You know, especially I know nowadays we're going to become a lot more conscious, hopefully, about what we eat, what we put on our bodies and our homes, which is where we spend most of our time. So um, just wanted to let you know. And portions of the, the paint, the collection here, the country she goes into feeding the hungry and also for animals, uh, veterinary care. So those things are just important. I know they may be redundant maybe for me to mention so often, but I find uh, a very close um, connection with that in my heart and uh, just want to let you guys know. Hi, Monica. How are you? And Jean, welcome. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I was going to, um, well, I started showing you how easy it is to use this painting sponge to paint spindles on a chair. So as you guys can see already, I just really went once and how quickly I did that. It was pretty fast. With a brush, it would have taken me a lot longer. So, you know, now we wanna let it dry. Ideally, it would be great to let it dry for at least, you know, um, a day and then do a second coat for a better coverage, but you know, I won't have that much time here in the video. Um, so I'll just continue painting the chair at the bottom here while we allow the top to dry. But um, I love these. Try to pour it in a separate container and um, that way you don't contaminate your paint even if you use a brush and obviously you know you probably it's going to be hard to reach the, the jar with it. So a big enough mouth where you can just dip it in. So what else is up you guys? What have you been up to? What are you up to? Um, any kind of projects going on at home? Anything that you guys may have any questions on that I can answer for you? Maybe you have something in mind and you don't know where to start, how to start? I'll be more than happy to answer any questions, any doubts. But I totally encourage you, if you're here somehow, this whole painting thing interests you and I say give it a try. You know, make that home look your own and it's so beautiful knowing that you did it and that it's all with natural paint get creative no more news and let's just paint with ourselves our children our family this is really what it's all about it's somewhat of a meditation for me i love it i'm very thankful that i'm able to do this 
so I'm running out of paint here. I'm going to open the other can, the other jar. So the color I'm using is called Feline Fine by Country Chic. And this is, again, from the Furry Friends Collection. So the portion of these jars, the money goes into helping um, families afford veterinary care for their, for their pets. Ise, how nice to see you here. Are you still in Miami? I've, I've moved. I'm a bit north now from almost two hours from Miami, up here in uh, Palm City, which is Stewart, Florida. I still go often to see my daughter, but you know, I don't miss it. I don't miss all that rumbling, crazy South Beach life. Even though I wasn't part of it, I loved going to the beach. I still do here, um, but it's nice here. You know, it's quiet. And uh, I paint <laughs> a lot now. <laughs> You're in Hollywood. Oh, okay, so you did move from Miami too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And you're in, yeah, in Broward. Okay, so this is Martin County. That's Broward County, I guess. Yeah, I'm still kind of learning the counties now. That's cool. That's cool. And uh, are you still in your holistic, uh, you know, profession. Issa is a good friend of mine that I've known for a very long time. She's an awesome Reiki master teacher. So uh, she understands a lot about being holistic and what that entails and what that means. It's very important for myself as well. And if any of you know me, you know that I've also been in the holistic and uh, natural healing lifestyle for a very long time. I still do Reiki as well. I still go to, well, I haven't gone to Miami lately because of all this craziness, but I do go every two, three weeks to see clients. So I'm still seeing uh, clients and, and offer Reiki sessions. So if anybody's interested when they come to Miami, let me know. Yeah, holistic is great. I know it's great. Hi, Isabel. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Isabel is my daughter. She's in college and working hard online. So um, I heard something really cool. Well, I don't know how cool it is, but you know how there's always someone coming up with names. So it seems that this era of the kids, they're calling them because they're working online. A lot of them doing their, their work on Zoom. They're, they're being called the Zoomer generation. Can you believe this? The Zoomer generation. How do you like that one? I know Isabel's gonna have a, a fit with that, but she's at the end of it. She's already in college, but the younger kids, this era is like the Zoomer, Zoomer generation because of doing schoolwork online using Zoom. Pretty wild, huh? Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see the bottom, but anyway, you know, we're working on the spindles and I'll go back. I'm just painting right now the, the legs. If I can bring you down, then you can see how quickly I'm doing this. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can, if you can see me here. I'm going to a little bit back. Yeah, so it's really just, you know, you squeeze it and you just spread it. It's really awesome. I've been painting by hand, and believe me, doing chairs, nobody likes to do chairs. No matter, even if they don't have spindles, they're not the easiest, there's a lot of work that goes into them. Um, this one I'm not gonna turn upside down right now, but a lot of times the best way to start painting a chair is turning it upside down, because you can reach like other areas that you couldn't if it was straight up. Eventually, I'll have to turn it upside down, but not now. But yeah, this is awesome. So, something really important to know. I'll bring you back up. Hi, Marta. Welcome. Thanks for being here. I'm showing you guys how to paint wooden spindles on chairs much easier and faster than using a brush. 
which is uh, a really a lot of work. So these are these sponges. I know this one's full of paint. You sometimes you might. I don't mind getting them on my hands because you know everything comes off with water. But if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can always put gloves on because um, it can get a little bit, you know, messy. But these sponges are awesome. They are called, you know, spending, pe painting sponges by Country Chic. Um, they're on my website at somethingfromsomewhere.com if you guys want to check them out. They're not just for painting spindles, you know, or painting these difficult areas faster. You can use them as well for sealers and for stains. So they're, they're reusable as well. So you don't have to just, you know, you use them or throw them away. You actually can reuse them. You just wash them after you're done with your project and dry them out, air dry, and then you can use them over and over and over again. Um, they're really cool. They're, they're a cool tool to, to have um, outside of a, you know, a good painting brush. Again, you know, the tools that you use are very important because obviously the better tools you use, the better results you have. But yeah, I'm almost done. So, what else? Any questions, you guys? I'm thinking you should zoom your knowledge like today. Really? Awesome, you see, that's awesome. So you read my mind. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. you thank you for being here. You know, um, this is, again, you know, we're living in this world now. I guess I'm going to be a Zoomer, but actually I'm doing a Facebooker. I know it sounds silly, but, you know, uh, this is, this seems to be, was always the future, and many people were going live on Facebook, and it was just something that I didn't think it was really for me. I kind of wanted to do it. I knew that we're coming to this era of being live but anyway you know sometimes you just have to do it so better time better now than ever I mean this is it so if anyone has a business I totally recommend it I have been very blessed to tell you the truth to be able to continue my business since I have everything online and um, you know getting I guess the more you do it better at it so still still learning every day how to do these lives but if you guys enjoy them and you're here then that totally I appreciate your support and hopefully I'm teaching you something and if there's anything that you want to learn that you want to do at home or a project that you don't know definitely send me an email at info at something from somewhere.com and I'll be more than happy to guide you what you need I've had a few of you already call me um, and ask me that you know you have something at home whether it is outdoors indoors and you don't know where to start what you need I'm more than pleased to show you and to teach you so please 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 do don't be embarrassed all right so you guys can see here let me turn you around a little bit more again so let me lift it up I mean this is just one I know I'm missing a few spots here let me turn this around I just saw it and it dries pretty fast. Gotta get this side here. Let me do this side here. Can you guys see? Yeah. So don't go over too many times. Even if you think that it's not covering right now, it's the first coat, it's okay. One thing that happens with chalk paints, clay paints, chalk and mineral, any of those combinations is that the more you go over it, thinking that, you know, oh, it needs more paint because there's a part that is not covered, you start taking it off actually. So don't go over it too much. Like I said, it's better that you do a few coats over than to try to do it all at once. Okay, hold on one second, let me charge here. That. Ah. Sorry, you guys. I didn't charge the battery with this. I thought I had it on there. All right. All 
right. So like I said, now we're gonna ideally let it dry for a few hours overnight, obviously the best, so that it's nice and dry. I won't have that much time here on the video. But hopefully you guys can get an idea. So then, you know, once you do the second coat, and if there's any missing areas you can't reach, you do want to use a small brush. I use my Paint Pixie to absorb a lot of paint, and they're some of the best brushes in the industry. They're, they're natural bristles. Um, so I do recommend using these. And um, for those just coming in, I'm painting the spindles with Feline Fine with the Country Chic. It's like all clay based in one decor paint, all in one meaning it has already the sealers and there's no need for priming or sanding. I always like to seal my pieces. It's just one of those things that I feel like it'll be like just to last longer and to avoid any kind of peeling. Um, but there's really no need. Just in case you were wondering. All right, cool. So any of you guys doing anything at home, any kind of projects? Hi, Rodrigo, how are you? Welcome. That's awesome, today I've had a lot of guys pop in. It's actually a great thing if you guys knew how to paint with these paints as well. I mean, I know that you do a lot of work uh, you know, at home. So these paints are easy. Some of these paints that we're accustomed to, we're afraid of using because they're a pain. They take a lot of work. But not these, you can really do some amazing projects and um, no need to use any of those harsh products. So I know that, I say that because I know Rodrigo, you like to do some, some work as well sometimes. You're in the industry of making things beautiful and working with marble. These are great paints. You can actually paint over anything. Um, some people are painting their floors that they don't like anymore tile floors and they paint over them and then they put stamps um maybe i do another again more videos as we go but um wow they come out like you would never imagine that they were tiled never never and you don't have to do anything to the floors just paint over it and then seal them so that goes for marble too where did you go just in case you were wondering nice to hear from you. All right, you guys, so let's see if I, let me go over it one more time. Let's do like that second coat. I'll pour a little bit more in my bowl. I love these little bowls, they're Pyrex. I don't know, I picked them up somewhere. And they, they actually fit my sponge perfectly <laughs> without not even planning ahead. So I use this little glass bowl and I just dip it in and paint so check this out we're going to the second coat now it's pretty dry I told you these paints if you do them thin it dries pretty quickly and then the coverage is beautiful so, so you just really push down it's pretty much the paint gets absorbed by the sponge and then bloop, Paint. And even on the second coat, don't worry. Remember, I'm, I'm pretty much just doing it uh, right after one coat, right after another. It's always best if you wait a little bit so then the, it dries completely and then really you can do a much better coverage the second coat. But just because of the sake of this video, I am doing it now, but you guys can already see that from just a second coat, it's covered and it looks great and it's easy. I mean, the, the part is this, the sponge, because painting spindles are really quite a lot of work. Some people spray, use a sprayer, 
I'm inside my warehouse. I would have to go outside um, and, you know, prepare the whole sprayer and the generator thing here to blow. You know, it's a lot of work. <laughs> if I have to, obviously, if I'm going to be doing, I don't know. Sometimes I can have six to eight chairs that I have to do at a time for any custom work. Then I'll pull out my spray, um, spray, you know, sprayer is a sprayer. But um, for just a few here and there, this is the best way for smaller projects. I guess you could do all of them if you wanted to, but I mean, this really is like a lifesaver. So again, what you will need, just to kind of give you a recap, is thank you, Rodrigo. Thanks. Oh, thanks for being here. Thanks for liking the videos. I'm still kind of new at them. Hopefully, you know, I get more comfortable more and more, but I hope so far so good. Um, yeah, so just to give you a recap, I am using Country Chic Paint. It's like a clay-based, all-in-one decor paint. I am using today Feline Fine. It's called Feline Fine, which is from a furry collection. Um, and the color Feline is beautiful. It's a beautiful greenish, minty color. And I'm using Country Chic's painting sponge. These are awesome for painting and for sealing and staining. They're reusable, so you just wash them. All the paints are water-based, so they're easy to wash off. And the sealers as well, as well as any of the glazes and creams that you use, so you just can reuse them, wash them, and use them for your next project. I like to pour everything on a separate cup so I don't uh, contaminate my paints. And for this project also, uh, you'll need like a little brush just so you can get into the nooks and you know, cracks that you can get in with the sponge. And um, we'll seal it after. I might, might, you could do, my preference probably on a chair would be a clear coat. I'll show you this. This is the clear coat by Country Chic. Um, it dries clear and again, you pour it in a separate bowl and then you can also use this or a brush and then seal over it. I prefer clear sealer on chairs than wax. You could also use wax, but um, you know, wax is, it will dry, but obviously, you know, with um, changing in temperatures, the wax itself on your tushy when you sit and you have clothes on, you know, just in case, I wouldn't recommend it on a chair. I would totally recommend it on dressers and any type of buffets, but on a chair, use a clear coat. Um, I have some poured in here in this bottle, so I just pour it again on a separate bowl, use my sponge or my brush, and just do two to three coats of clear coat. And then that's it, you're done. Now, you can go and take it further, and that would be uh, like doing some kind of distressing if you wanna give it that vintage distressed look, uh, like a shabby chic look. Um, I wish I had, we'll see if I have time for that here, but what you do is, for the next other video I'll show you, once it's painted, um, you just get a very fine grit sanding paper. I recommend a 220. And what you would do is before sealing, so after painting the chair, once you're happy with the coverage, then in certain areas, you just lightly sand. Um, distressing is best when you do it in the corners, um, in little corners of the chair and areas that would normally like wear and tear, uh, not forcing it because then it looks fake. If you want that authentic look, imagine, you know, what, what are the areas that are usually used more in a chair or, or that may be chipping more often than others, you know, when you move the chair around. Those are the areas that you want to distress. So always like little corners, you know, little areas of wear and tear, and that's what makes it really authentic, beautiful, old world look. Um, and then you seal it, and the clear coat, like I just mentioned to you guys. Um, they're water-based as well, non-toxic, environmentally friendly, biodegradable, they're awesome. They have no smell, and you can paint indoor in your home, so they're safe to paint indoors. Um, and then, you know, if it's gonna be the piece of furniture outside, we have what is called a tough coat. 
and I'll show you that another time, but they, there is a sealer where you can actually seal it for furniture that's gonna be left outside and it has a much tougher weatherproof um, sealer to the piece. So, hi Andre, how are you? Welcome. Where are you from? Where are you at? I always like to know where you guys are watching me from. So, for those that are just coming in, last, uh, recap again just really quick if you guys hear that bird that is I have a ring neck which is an Indian ring neck it's a small parrot and uh, it's here with me at the shop and uh, it's outside it keeps me company I call it he's my alarm dog because whenever somebody goes by it starts going beep 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 or if it hears me talk so if you hear that I'm sorry if it's annoying he's probably hearing me right now and it's going beep 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 so maybe I'll introduce you to in one of these days what's happening is that I can't take him out of the cage I play with him but I have to close the door whenever I'm with him because he's flying and I usually take him to the groomers to the you know the bird place and they trim and clip his wings but I haven't been able to because they've been closed so if, I can't take him out if I take him out here to show you I'm afraid that he may fly and I can grab him and I'll die I really will <laughs> I can't do that Hi, Maria Rosa. Welcome. Hola, 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 guys. ¿Qué tal? Um, all right, so you guys, I hope that this gave you an idea of what this sponge can do and how easy it is to use a painting sponge on a chair, on the spindles. Bye. <laughs> so um, that you can try this at home. I can't believe that I actually just did this live with you guys because normally this would take me a couple of hours. So, and I'm talking and painting at the same time. So this is really, this is really awesome. You know, I'll probably go over it again in this area, but it's really, really, really easy to, to use. Okay, any questions you guys? So, let me do the back here. So any of you have any chairs at home you want to paint? Anything similar to this? Spindles? That you've been postponing? I like this color, it's very pretty. I've painted with this before. I'll show you this uh, tray that I painted in this color, which you can probably see. Can you see? That was pretty fast, don't you think, you guys? Look, I'll show you something. I don't know if you guys have seen on my website, this is the same color as the chair and then I put some lemon transfers on it but I can bring it closer so you can see the color how beautiful it is it's like a really light greenish mintish color it's really beautiful I also painted these candle holders in the same color you can see I like this color so this was also super easy just metal painting distressing sealing Hi, Sally. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Jimena, hi. How are you? Well, thanks for being here, you guys. Um, today's uh, live was about showing you how you can paint a chair with wooden spindles the easy way. And uh, 
if you've ever painted a chair with spindles, these are a few. I've actually painted some with a lot more. It's quite a hard job to do. And um, I get sometimes uh, clients that want custom work and they show me chairs with spindles and I'm like, oh, I'm dreading it. But uh, I've recently become this retailer for these paints called Country Chic, which I'm just totally in love with. They're clay based and one of their tools is this painting sponges and um, they showed us how to use them to paint spindles the easiest way the fastest way and I thought oh my god that's perfect I gotta show you guys how so uh, yeah I mean it's really crazy but just what a tool can do so quickly so easily instead of a brush and you just dip it in the paint and you just paint with the sponge and it makes life so much faster easier and the coverage is awesome um, it may take you know a few coats depending on the color that you're using obviously lighter colors may take you know two coats sometimes three but um just paint let it dry paint it again and i mean it's done you can use your brush to finish the little uh spaces that you can't finish and then you just distress it if you want to to go into that shabby look distressed um old-fashioned look which is very in right now and uh, then you seal it it's really easy really easy you guys have seen that you know um painting furniture is really not so hard uh, if you have the right tools and the right products so um everything that i've shown you today we use country chic paint uh feline fine is the name of the color i'm in love with this color it's a beautiful minty green and uh this painting sponges and the clear sealer which is really just again on the same sponge you wash it off you can use it and you just top coat it two three coats um and you're done you're done and all these products if for you that are asking uh it's something from somewhere.com everything is online i ship i'm also doing curbside pickup if you want to just go online and say you're going to pick it up i'll prepare get it ready for you and um, i'll bring it outside you don't even have to come in uh, i am here at the shop every single day from nine to five and um, what else? What else can I tell you real quick? And um, join my Facebook group. I created this really awesome uh, group. I call it now a tribe, something from somewhere, creative tribe, where we can all just get together and show what we're doing, our projects, or just talk about any concerns we may have. So it's a really good way of staying in touch and building a community. Um, I know that many of you are already in there and I totally appreciate it, you and for being here with me. And again, if you have anything that you want to learn, let me know, send me a message and I'd love to show you. So I hope this helps you today get an idea of what painting a chair using a sponge uh, can be like and how easy it is and that you can um, try it at home. So I hope that I've inspired you to create something from somewhere and make it beautiful. Thanks for being here, you guys. I'll see you next week, Thursday, at 5 p.m. Eastern on Facebook, Something From Somewhere. Organically Reborn Furniture and Decor. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.